glucose junkie. Today we have a savoury recipe for you. But before we do, I'm just really sad to say that High Carb Heidi will no longer be with us. She had a terrible accident and she actually, she died. She, she slipped on a banana peel and hit her head and that was the end. May she rest in peace. So today we've got creamy corn chowder. Mm -hmm. Without all the crab, without the dairy, without all the stuff that goes in a chowder. You know, I don't even actually know what goes in a chowder because I'm from Aussie land. I'm from Australia and we don't really do corn chowder here. So anyway, but I thought it sounded kind of cool so I named it corn chowder. Anyway, oh, you like my purple tie suit? I've got my purple, purple leggings on. Purple legs run faster. So anyway, look what we have here. We have some beautiful organic corn. Yes, little corns. Some beautiful organic avocado and dill. Dill is like one of my most favorite yummy herbs. I love it. So this is a really like simple recipe. So you get the corn. I know there is a high percentage of sugar in corn, especially young corn. And avocado is predominantly, predominantly fat. So the combo is a little bit, you know, you would leave it at the end of the day. You know, this is a bit of a special thing. I don't recommend you eat it every day, but it's just such a simple three ingredient recipe that I had to show you guys. And it digests fine for me, but I make sure I eat it at the end of the day. So I've had all my sweet fruit during the day. And then at the end of the day, I'm having the overtly fatty food. And I'm not even going to use this whole avocado. It's just to make the corn creamier, get that creamy corn chowder texture. So we get the corn. Oh my god. Okay, obviously it's going to go everywhere, so you've got to be a little bit smarter. And do it in a container. I've got my ceramic knife. This is really cool. Bought it in New York in like a, a pharmacy. They sell ceramic knives. That's what I love about America, New York. You know, you just don't find ceramic knives in Australian pharmacies generally. So, cut it off. Okay, you can add as much corn as you want. Oh, you can tell I do this all the time. You know, make sure you get your corn really young as well. Young corn is best. So you're left with, everyone knows how to get the kernels off a corn cob, hopefully. And then I just get... Oh, I love the smell of dill. Like, I go a bit crazy on the dill and I put like lots in. Like most of this. Alright, and let's put, let's put a quarter in. I mean the creaminess of this avocado, this is a really beautiful avocado. I don't generally eat a lot of avocado because it's over 70% fat. Calories from fat. Okay, we're putting, the, we're putting the whole half in there. And it's just better to have sweet, low fat fruits. You know, avocado is a fruit, but it's a high fat fruit. But this is what you're left with. Dill, avocado, corn. Okay, it's very simple. This is not the best blender to use, really. Put it in there. Okay, just a tiny bit of water. Don't use too much. Smush it around from the outside. that you invest in a bullet blender as well because they are just really really handy they're cheap and they can do these sort of sauces and dips and stuff really easily it's four o'clock so yeah this is the end of the day for me getting towards the end of the day and I like to eat early and already had heaps of fruit today this is what it looks like inside Pulverize it as much as you can. I'm going to get my hand in there. There's nothing like the hand for a tool, you know? Just don't cut yourself. Cut up a little bit of capsicum if you want. I mean, and you can use it as a dip. Like that. Pretty. Well, it's like a face with a tongue. 
And you can make boats, you know, like be a bit creative. You can fill, you can fill tomatoes with it, capsicums with it. This is a consistency, by the way. I'm going to just put some on there. Mm. It's yummy. It's really yummy. So you can put more corn in it to give it even more corny flavour. Or a bit more avocado. But I suggest keeping the avocado low. You know, I don't have any more than really half an avocado a week. So I just don't feel as vital when I have, you know, too much fat. It's all about keeping the fat low and the carbs high. Creamy corn chowder. Alright, see you in a couple of days for a rant. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to rant about, but you know, you can put some ideas down here in the comment section and, and I'll decide, you know, like I might like some of your ideas and rant about it. Alright, I'll see you soon. Bye. Don't hurt yourself.